Hi. So I was having a discussion the other day with a young guy. And while we got talking, he was trying to ask certain questions about the characters, the attributes, characteristics that a good Christian lady should have, especially the one you have considered and you're thinking of getting married to. So if you're a single guy, I want you to pay attention to this discussion because there are a lot of things that I want you that are my subscribers, the Christian men that are on my platform to know. And I want you to take these things very serious because if you found any lady who has any of these five characteristics, I am telling you that she's not good enough for a wife material. You have to pray very well about you getting married to that person. Now, number one, if you see a lady that continuously complains about her previous relationship, or she's always telling you about her previous relationship, her exes. And she keeps telling you that um, there are certain characteristics that um, uh, the ex has. And she's looking forward to you possessing that kind of um, characteristics. My brother, you're on. <laughs> because let me tell you, such a woman, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that you can do to please her. There is nothing in this world, as it were, that you can do to please such a woman. So number one, if you have seen a woman that continuously complain about her ex, she's not a good match for you. Number two, if you see a woman that is not interested in the things of God and things of God are boring to her, the moment you begin to talk about it, it feels as if you are doing too much. When you're trying to tell her, let us study the word of God, she's not interested. Let us go for certain programs, she's not interested. Or her interest is about 2 to 3% in the things of God. I am not the one to even tell you this one. She is a woman that does not fear God. Run. What did I say again? Run for your life. She is not a good match for you. In the book of Genesis chapter 24, we saw how Abraham made his servant to swear by his tie that you will get a good wife for my son. And he specifically told him, don't go to the tribe of Canaan. Don't go to the Canaanites to pick a wife for my son. Go to my tribe. Travel all the way. Now, I'm not saying you are, I'm not talking about tribe here now, but I am talking about a woman whom you are of the same tribe religiously, who belongs to your tribe religiously. I'm not talking about um, language now. A woman that belongs to your tribe. A woman that the two of you understand the language of the kingdom. A woman that speaks the same language of the kingdom is the one that the servant went all the way to look for, for his master's son. So if you are looking for a wife, I beg you in the name of God, go for a woman that belongs to the same kingdom as you. It saves you a lot of stress. I can't even overemphasize that. Number three, if you are considering a relationship with a lady and when you begin to get up close and personal, you begin to discover that this lady does not have respect for anybody. This lady does not fear God does not fear our parents, does not respect elders. Don't be blinded by love, my dear. I want you to pay a whole lot of attention to this one I am telling you. I want you to pay attention. A woman that does not respect the father cannot respect your own father. Can I say that again? A woman that does not respect her mom cannot respect your mom. So don't be blinded by I love her. I'm not even talking about, see, there are times a lot of people have come to me, mama, there are five guys in my life. I want you to pray to know which one is perfect. There is something that I always tell them. As much as I don't do that kind of prayer, I tell them, go and make your findings. Because the Bible says he who finds a wife, finds a good thing. He who finds a wife finds a good thing. So there is a finding and it is a kind of finding that you have to do. Nobody else can do it for you. So while you are making your findings and you discover that this lady does not respect anybody, 
does not have respect for anybody. She cannot respect you. Somebody that cannot respect the mom. There is no way such a lady can respect you. That is number three. Number four and number five. Please don't joke with them. Listen. Number four. If you have a lady that you plan to get married to, and the only thing that she keeps asking you is to know about how much you're earning, she's concerned about the kind of house you live. She's concerned about the kind of job you do. Now, I'm not saying that you as a guy should not be working. In fact, I recommend that every guy should work. I recommend that every guy should have something doing before you begin to think of marriage. All right? So, if you see a lady that is so particular about the kind of job you do, she's so particular about the house you leave, and you are beginning to discover that her taste board is very, very high, <laughs> and you discover that she likes big, big stuff, you have to be careful. A lady that does not have anything going on in her own life, she's not doing any serious thing. If you try to ask her, what do you do? She does not have something serious. On the table you know how you ask what have you brought to the table and all that she's bringing to the table is just small small trade here and there now i'm not saying that you should not marry her if she has prospect if you have seen that she's um she has prospect she has something that she's anticipating she's working on something i believe so much in two of us growing together as well but then you see a lady that does not look like somebody that is serious about life She's not taking life seriously. All that she's concerned about is what you are doing and what you are bringing to the table. I want you to run. Pay attention. Please don't let love blind your eyes. That, as a matter of fact, is not love. It's lost. Pay attention to this one. Let me roll the drum, number five. I want to tell you what number five is. But before I do, listen. Pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. I have taken upon myself the role of that servant that helped Abraham to look for a wife for Isaac. And the Holy Spirit has inspired me to occupy this office. Amen. So one of the things that I'll be doing is that I have organized a platform. I have organized a program that would connect all the single guys and ladies in one place. So here you can be sure that every lady you are getting from this platform is from God. You can be sure that every guy you're getting from this platform is from God. And that platform is Sacred Spark. In the link, I am going to be dropping the channel. I am going to be dropping the information, everything you need concerning that platform. I am going to be dropping it in the comment area. I am so sure, I am so certain what the Holy Spirit is telling me that in the nearest future, this program is going to be a big deal. Amen. Can I hear an amen? There is no power of hell that can tamper with this because God himself is involved in it. The Sacred Spark is a program that I have designed with the help of the Holy Spirit to connect Christian brothers and sisters to form a community of Christian youths coming together to be able to interact, to create a tribe, to create a community. And I am telling you that on this platform, you're going to be having a lot of games to be able to match two people together and see if there is a sacred spark between the two of them. It's not ungodly. I know a lot of people will say, oh, that's, that's not of God, really. Let me tell you the simple truth. Most of the things that we consider ungodly, they are not ungodly either. Now, this is what I mean. By the time the two of you are coming together, you are coming together, nobody is matchmaking you. But you're coming together to see if the relationship can work. If you do it the way God has ordained it to be, at the end of the day, I see a lot of marriage springing forth from this program. And I will also, by the grace of God, be here to see you through the process of courtship. I'll be here with the help of the Holy Spirit to see you through the process of wedding and until it is over. I look forward to getting sponsors for this program that will make life a whole lot easier for the couple, especially when it has to do with your wedding plan and every other thing that is involved, the emotional preparation and all. I'm going to be bringing guests that have been in the business of marriage, Christian marriage, and they're going to be providing a soft landing 
for the would-be couple, especially those of you that are already established in courtship as this as far as this program is concerned. And I'm sure God is interested in this kind of thing because Abraham sent that servant, go to my tribe, go and get me a woman for my son. We are not talking of language. The tribe I'm talking about is the kingdom, the Christian kingdom is the one I am talking about. Somebody that you are of the same tribe, the same language, kingdom language now. You understand what I'm trying to say? So you want to be a part of that program. Check the link in the description. I'm going to be dropping details that is needed for you to be a part of that program. And I am super excited. I am sure someone is excited about this too. So number five, if you are having a woman in your life, Number five is kind of costly. It's one of the things that I encourage my ladies to do. If you're a lady and you're believing God for marriage, let me give you a hint, guys. A woman that is not waiting for marriage to happen, a woman that does not pin her life down waiting for a man to come and make a whole lot of sense about her. Let me further explain. If you have a woman that is not always happy with her life. A woman that is always feeling like somebody has to come compliment me before I am. A woman that is always having the feeling of not enough, not complete, not perfect. Such a woman is a red flag. Mm -hmm. But I always say this one to the ladies. Get your life going. Don't put your life to a hold because you are waiting for marriage. I know of a particular lady who is believing God for marriage, but her life is not on hold. She has built an empire for herself. She has made a name for herself. She has done great things for herself. She has a big business to her name. Any man that is coming into her life would know that this one has put some value on herself. A woman that does not have value is a red flag. The woman that does not have anything going on in her life is a red flag. You want to join Sacred Spark? We have the brand right here, Sacred Spark. And be a part of our tribe, be a part of our community. And I am assuring you by the help of the Holy Spirit that we are going to be a formidable force that the whole world wants to reckon with when it comes to marriage. So be a part of a program, be a foundational member, subscribe to Sacred Spark. I'll put the link of the channel in the description or up here. God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. I pray for all the single men that you will find a perfect match for you in the name of Jesus. See you on the other platform. Have a wonderful time. Shalom.